one of the questions I want to ask is, as Venture, I feel like one of the other things that's difficult is to determine or sort out the signal from the noise. And what I mean by that is either one, what things to follow or what things what things that maybe seem small today that you think are going to get much bigger and then similarly to that signal from noise when it comes to meeting companies meeting founders trying to just sort out the fluff from the heart of of what a company's really about difficult question do you have any advice or any just being you know introspective about that how you think about separating signal from noise yeah it's um it's a good one, and I'd say, you know, what I've learned in our, in our business is, um, you know, it's it, beauty is in the eye of the beholder uh, for so much of uh, investing in early stage, particularly the earliest stages as we do. And, you know, when you're getting to a decision, there could be, you know, 52 reasons to do it, 48 not, and someone else would have it sort of flipped around. And so I do think um, ultimately, you know, as we were talking about earlier, sort of that sort of conviction mindset, when you've gone deep, you have a better sense as to what you're looking for, but then the humility to kind of be willing to kind of learn new things and adapt as, as you uh, meet with founders and as they sort of paint the canvas of what they're trying to build. I do think in one area in particular, and I think this has come up um, perhaps more than others and, and maybe is helpful to your audience, but I think, you know, the emphasis on people matters to me more than more than perhaps anything else. Um, and part of it is, I think that, you know, extraordinary founders are what uh, are the sort of the basis, the substrate of building extraordinary uh, companies. But I've also decided at this point in my career, 15 years in, I, I just want to work with um, exceptional people. And I think, you know, if you kind of look back, um, crypto was sort of, you know, felt Fell, fell prey to this in the early days where there were a lot of speculators or a lot of mercenaries looking to make a quick buck, um, you know, willing to do anything, including, you know, defrauding retail investors to do so. And I mean, if the, if the last couple of months have taught us anything, these folks are still in our midst. And I think, you know, we've been fortunate to not have been fooled by any of them. But when I think uh, back on sort of why that is and what we're looking for in crypto founders is, you know, we really, really like these deeply technical founders with a very strong reputation to uphold. Um, they're not here to do one thing. They are thinking about the full arc of, of their career. In many cases, they're thinking 20 years out. I remember Lynn Jurich, the founder of Sunrun, you know, she would talk on the earnings calls as a public company. It's the company where, you know, I, I invested them when they were four people. Uh, and hearing her on earnings calls talk about, you know, the kind of the 20 year focal length of what they were building was just so satisfying. So I think this sort of emphasis on why you're here, what you're building, um, what fills your tank uh, as a founder, I think matters a lot to us. And we do everything we can to learn about that before we invest um, so that we have a real sense of conviction around those founders to live through, you know, the hard times and, um, and be, you know, still be, be excited to build something of import. 